to show you how to play Just Give Me a Reason by Pink featuring Nate Roos, the singer from Fun. Hope you enjoy playing this. It's an interesting piece. I've got the letter notes for you. If you want to play this, you can go right to letternoteplayer.com, have them right there in front of you. You can download them, print them, have them as you learn to play this song. There's a lot to this piece. Let's start with the main melody, and then we'll go back and pick up the introduction. It starts off on a B. B, 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 G, A, B, C, 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 B. So the A chord is A, C sharp, E, white, black, white. So, so far, slowly, I've got... That's what we've got. And then we go up to an A. Then we're to a D chord. Now the D chord is D, F sharp, A. But we're keeping that A down here in the bass. Then we play that D again. D again. And then we go to a... B in the bass, and this is a G chord, G, B, D, but we're hitting the B, G on top. Then you play that B again. So we go B in the bass, and then we hit the B with the thumb, and then we come all the way down to a C chord. The bass will have C, and then we have E, G, C with the right hand. Now we're going to go to a B minor, and then to an A minor. So the B minor... You're going to go from E, G, C to D, F sharp, B. B minor is white, white, black, B, D, D, F sharp. So we're going to go D, F sharp, B in the right hand, B in the bass. And then we're going to go to a C, a C E, A. A minor is A, C, E. We'll put the octave in there in the right hand. And then that, that introduction ends with B, D, B, A, G, G. And it'll end with a G chord. into the melody then we're right into the main body so now up to tempo that introduction well I'll take it slowly so you can see it now we hit the G chord when we go on to the melody play that up to tempo once so that you can at least hear it up to tempo. We'll play it again at the end. So what we've got, we've got a G chord and we repeat the B and the D. Then to a C chord with the G in the bass. And then we're going to an 
E minor chord, G, B, E. So we're going to have G, C, E, G, B, E. And then we're going back to the C chord, to a G chord. So it'll look like this, G, B, D, B, D, G, C, E, G, B, E, G, C, E, C, E, G, B, D. And then that little melody, that little motif. And then that, that little phrase will end with a low G in the bass. So now I'll go slowly so that you can see it hands together. End of the introduction. down there and then we go right into now what we're going to do is we're going to hit that G with the right hand and then the then I'm going to slide this E minor chord right up to there so it's going to be B E G so that G will take over with the left hand and then we're going to an A major chord so we're going from an E minor to an A major we're going to have the C sharp E A We'll bring the A all the way up here. So we're going from, from these notes. We're going to slide everything up. All we're going to keep is the E in there. The B goes to a C sharp and the G goes to an A. So we got da, 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 da. There's your A chord. And we're headed for a D chord. So we're going to go E minor, A, D. And the D chord is D, F sharp, A. And then we're going to end with, we're going to go back to a B, D, G. We're going to go back to a G chord. Da, 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 de, da, da. take the later on I'll take the uh, G chord up here but this is setting us up for that for this we're going right back to this sound so when we hit the, the G chord right there we're in place for the next time on that little because uh, we play that through uh, a couple of times there three three times I think I gave you that. Yeah, I did earlier. So we got. Now here's where we're going to go down to us. We're going to go down to a C, and then we're going to go to a D and a G. We're going to have the G chord, and then we're going to hit an A. We're going to have a suspension there. I'm going to suspend that G the way, just the way they do in the music. They suspend the G and resolve it to an F sharp. You're going to a D major chord there, but we're going to... So we're going to... We've got this, we've got this C chord. Then we're going to go to a D, G, B. We'll have two notes in the bass in the left hand. And then we'll have the G resolve to the F sharp. So that little section up to tempo there, so you can hear it up to tempo. And then we're ready to go into the chorus. Um, now, now one thing, I, when I get to that C, I've got this, just the melody note, C major chord, then we go to a, take those three notes and go to two notes, and then the suspended note. Now for the chorus, I do have a rhythm that you can kick in right there. that 
I'm using there is a 96. So you can set your tempo. And then we'll do that after I show you the way the chords go together. So we've got G, D, G, B. D, so we've got a G chord, D, G, B. We're going to a D chord, D, F sharp, A. E minor chord, E, G, B. And there are two ways to play this. One is a little harder if you have the bass line the way they go. They've got D, C, B, D, C, B minor chord. If you want to just play the chords, you can. You can just go G, G chord, D chord, E chord, B minor chord, D chord, G chord. So then you don't have that little moving bass line. The, if you do the moving bass line, you're going to go from, what I like to do is play this E, G, e, e, G B with 1, 2, 3 in the left hand, and then I've got D, C. Then I go to the B chord here with 5, with my little finger, the middle finger, and my index finger, and all i got to do is rotate there for the D major chord. So B minor, D major, then you do it again. So now with slowly with the with the right hand notes. Now what sounds good is just to get this pulse in the left hand. So if you can get that and it'll go along with it, you can see how it goes with the with the beat. Got it now with the with the right hand and I'll slow it down. through his melody when Nate comes in. And when Nate comes in, I'm going to drop this G chord down to here. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I was up here, I'm going to take it down with the G on top. And here's your bass line. You're going to have B, a G chord, B, D, G, and then all I do is I repeat the B and the D. Then a C chord, C, E, G, and a B and an E minor chord with the B on the bottom, B E G. Back to the C chord, C E G. And then a G chord with the G on top, B D G. We do it again. C chord, E minor chord, C chord, C chord, G chord. And then we're into the same thing. And then we're going to go to, and then the duet comes in. So I'll get to the duet in a minute. Let's go through his, his uh, solo. And then she comes in. Comes back in. She comes in. And we're back to. Once we get to the duet, let, let me just give you those notes E and G, D and F sharp. Then we go to a C sharp and E, and a C sharp and A, 
And then we've got a D and F sharp, D and F sharp, D and G, B and D, C and E, B and D, A and C, then unison A, A, B and D, C and E. Then she goes up here, D and G, D and A, G, D, goes right up, right there. Once we get to the duet, we are going to close that little uh, that little part of the uh, verse out. So what the left hand's doing is C chord, G chord, A minor chord. So it's C E G, B D G, A C E A A. to the okay. now we're into that second chorus and we're going to have some duet part in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this onto a different sound and I'll put the drums in there or I'll, I'll put the drums in there once we get the notes so we've got the regular chorus where the duet kicks in. Now here you've got G and G, G and B, G and F sharp and A, E and G, F sharp and A, D and A. All the way up to C and E, B, D, A and C, G, B, G and B, B and D. Then it goes back to unison. So if the, you take that up to tempo, it's going, the right hand's going to go. I'll go a little slowly so you can see it. She goes up to that high G. Now I'll come back to those notes in a minute. Let's put the whole thing together there so you can see how the left hand goes with it. There you got a B minor chord. Going to a D minor D major chord. Back to the G. So we've got a G chord to a D chord, D F sharp A, to an E minor, B E G, B minor, B D F sharp, to a B D, to a D chord, back to the G chord, and then the D chord, B minor, B B minor. It's going to end with an E minor. Uh, let's get into that. There's your E minor. And then you're going to go to a B minor here. And I'm going to go through those chords so you can see them before we play them. Gets a little bit of a, a 
quiver in her, in her voice, right? And it comes all the way down. That's D, C, B, A, G, E. And you go to an A minor sound, E. A minor holds through F sharp, F sharp, G, G, A, A. Well, you just hit the chords once. got an acapella with drums only. So now I'm going to put the drums on there and I'll play through it and then we'll go right into the acapella section. comes in on then you go to a sustained bass note G and it'll be a single note now you can play it as a single note or an octave I'm gonna play it as an octave G F sharp then I'm gonna go D C B D so I'm not gonna play these as octaves because if, if I had a bigger keyboard I could going to throw me off because I'm going to go off the keyboard there if I play octaves. So I'm going to go to a single note here. B, C, B, D, G, and then we do it again. We're getting ready for the ending here and you can see it so we'll just put the, put the sound back on with the change my piano back because I'm going to go back to the piano so what I can do is I can, ex can hold that G now let me show you what I've what I skipped over there when you come back into it you're going to go B D A A C B A G B D E D B C B A G G so that's what G's going oh into it just before that part and then then we'll play it into the end and, and when you go to the end we're going to play the ending just like the beginning just the way they do in the recording i'll play it with the drums this time and then i'll cut the drums i'll cut the drums off Because 
I'm coming to the ending. And we're going to go. And we'll just end it with a unison G. So by cutting off the sound on this G, then I can go. There you have the complete song by Pink, Just Give Me a Reason. Hope you enjoy playing it as much as I have.